Cyprian Quincy, last time you and I met was uh, in the Pleasant Garden in Lagos at the time when you were uh, information chief for the Nigerian government. I had hoped to see you again, but I must say in more, in happier circumstances than at the present. Uh, at that time, did you have any premonition, any feeling that something like this would happen? No, I didn't have any feeling that something as disastrous as this would happen, but everyone had a feeling of impending disaster from the way the census figures were being rigged, from the way the election results were being played about with. Everybody felt that something was coming, something really ominous, but nobody could predict the, the uh, depth of it. No. But we all had this sense of doom hanging over us. In fact, the word revolution was mentioned a number of times, but it was a strange thing. No one had ever heard what a revolution was or experienced it. But people knew something bad was coming. Yes. Yes. Did you uh, uh, stay in Lagos for some time after the outbreak of uh, hostilities? Oh, yes. I stayed in Lagos nearly a month. And not the outbreak of actual fighting, but um, when um, the Ronzi regime was overthrown, there was a sort of vacuum. People didn't know what would happen next. And I was in Lagos up to that time until I started getting evidence that uh, my neighbors were being taken off in the night and killed. Uh -huh. So self-preservation is the first law of nature. I had to escape. They did that in Lagos as they well? They did that in Lagos, yes. I see. They did that in Lagos as well. In fact, we have a boy on the federal ministry who barely escaped death, but his companion with whom he was kidnapped was actually killed. He's here in Biafra. So when you were, the word genocide, which we hear in connection with the with the war here, yes. is uh, is a word which people always will have difficulties in accepting, in a sense. But what is your real opinion on it? Well, my real opinion is that once Biafra has succeeded in proving that there is an intention for genocide, this is all we need, and we have ample evidence of that. Genocide is the ethnic extermination of a people. You prove genocide when everybody has been killed. Biafrans do not want to wait until everybody has been killed. They have seen the signs of the intention. Um, our people were killed in hundreds of thousands. The war has come. It isn't a war of unification, as we are told. It is a war of extermination. Our girls have been abducted and married off to strange people. Um, all the various things you do so as to com commit genocide are being done. We don't want to wait until it is complete. Therefore, we have the intention. By the way, all this began many, many years ago. As far back as 1947, uh, Biafrans were attacked in Kano. In 1953, the same thing happened. Genocide is not spontaneous. It's a subtle process, which is a result of government propaganda. A government now uses the organ which it uh, uh, which should be used for protecting a people, it turns in that, that organ against the people and starts killing them using the government means. And everybody is indoctrinated to hate a particular class of people, to want them out of the way, to want to kill them. This is what we mean by genocide. Bombing of civil befolkning har man sett før, i andre kriger. Og Biafranernes påstand om et bevisst forsøk på folkemord fra deres motstanderes side, ved vold og ved utsultning, vil mange utenforstående fortsatt ha... Biafra is at the moment experiencing jungle justice, which is the justice of might is right. Because we are under an economic blockade, we are under a propaganda blockade, we are under a diplomatic blockade. Nobody sees uh, what we are suffering, nobody hears what we are suffering, and as a result of that, the wrong story is presented to the world. We are not heard, and therefore we cannot be judged except on the basis of the lies being told about us. When we have been able to overcome this jungle justice and we are heard, then we will then get the civilized justice because our case will be brought into the open. And once a case into the, is in the open, you cannot play tricks. We are now victims of blackmail because we are being suppressed, we are being muzzled. You still fight on? We fight on, oh yes, Biafra fights on. Biafranernes tyngre våpen er erobret fra deres motstandere. Tilførsler får de også gjennom 
de internationale svartebørsvåpenhandlere, og det sies også fra Portugal og Frankrike. Skjønt de fleste våpen man ser...